All right, these protests uh, continue now in Los Angeles. This is at least half a dozen different high schools represented here, and uh, possibly more as they get sympathy rallies that have been planned uh, ever since Donald Trump was elected president of the United States six days ago. Essentially, what they're arguing for are protections from a Donald Trump who might want to crack down on illegals in this country and kick them out. Now, Donald Trump was telling 60 Minutes Leslie Stahl that uh, he can envision as many as 3 million going, those with a criminal past or who shouldn't be here because of other intentions that would uh, bring problems here in the United States. So not all, uh, but 3 million in his eyes problematic cases. Former Arizona Governor Jan Brewer on these anti-Trump protests as a result. Governor, what they're essentially saying is um, we want protections. We, I think what they're arguing for is provide us the sanctuary, the cover that we need um, so that uh, mean old Trump doesn't do anything to us, I think. What do you think? Well, I believe that it's outrageous that they're out there and that it's being allowed to take place. It's like they're flaunting it uh, in everyone's face. Uh, they ought to be in school and getting the education that they so badly say that they want. Um, and that they're getting afforded with many of them uh, that not legally they're here illegally um, it just uh, they want all the rights and privileges of being a United States citizens and they don't and they don't have those rights and privileges and to step up and behave in the manner that they have has been very disturbing um, uh, to the to, to me and, and to other uh, citizens that live and abide by the rule of law it's like they don't care it's, it's their country uh, it's not their country. It's our country. Well, what I find odd is that many who are, you know, protesting the Mexican flag, uh, they're either on behalf of, of relatives or they themselves who are Mexican descent and don't want to don't want to leave. I can understand not wanting to leave, uh, but the fact of the matter to equate what they're doing to, the, to rights that legal citizens have, or to argue legal citizen right to those on, for whom they might be marching on, on their behalf. I, Either way, it, it's, it's an odd message to send an incoming president of the United States who is responsible to honor and uphold the U.S. Constitution for its legal residence, right? Absolutely it is. And let me say this, Neil. The fact that when they fly and march with the Mexican flag, their allegiance, obviously, is to Mexico. It's not to the United States of America. They, I, I, it's beyond comprehension um, to understand what they think they gain from this. Uh, fortunately, it's not uh, uh, all of them. I, I, I know there are other people here that are behaving uh, right. Uh, they might be here illegally, but they're not out there marching and destroying um, uh, the, the, the hope that they might have had. Uh, on five days after a new president has been elected. I think we should bring everybody to the table, but this kind of behavior is so, so um, uh, disturbing uh, that uh, they find little sympathy with a lot of us. All right, but there's the silent majority of those witnessing this saying that if they're arguing on the behalf of protections and, and, and measures to be taken to shield those who are here illegally, who's picking up the bill to make sure that happens? Well, it certainly would be uh, us, I guess, picking up the bill to protect them. But they're here illegally. They, I, what is it that they don't understand? They, you know, it seems to me they would be acting properly, uh, contrite, um, encouraged uh, that a new president is here that they need to uh, work with and a Congress. But, you know, this, this kind of behavior is unacceptable, totally unacceptable. Governor, uh, thank you for taking the time in these late-breaking developments and responding to this news. We did want to bring it to, to your attention. Of course, you knew.